CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City University of New York. Welcome. Glad to be on. What do we expect to come out of these hearings? Well, everything's on the table. Intercepting an asteroid, blowing it up, deflecting it. It's going to be like Buck Rogers meets the United States Congress. Now, it's a no-brainer that what they need first is an early warning system, a space telescope that can detect an asteroid from a distance because it would only cost a few hundred million dollars. That's chump change compared to, like, a stealth bomber. And realize the threat is real. You know, in Russia, if that asteroid had held intact for a few more seconds, mm -hmm. it would have hit the ground with a force of 20 Hiroshima bombs. Casualties would have been in the hundreds of thousands. So there's a, a line in one of the newspapers, Dan Capitol Hill, that says the asteroids will no longer be safe now that lobbyists have them in their sights. So I want to have some healthy skepticism about this story, which is that why are so many lobbyists interested in, in asteroids? And why are there so many billionaires from Google who are interested in this? This could be a gold mine if you are an entrepreneur with a 30, 40 year time frame because mining an asteroid is on the agenda. Why? What, what can they mine it for? There's lots of minerals and valuable uh, substances on these asteroids that potentially you can mine if you had the hardware to have a booster rocket to take you there. And that, of course, is the problem. It would cost billions of dollars, not just hundreds of millions, to have an interceptor missile, a booster rocket that can take you there. But once you're there, there are valuable minerals on these asteroids that some Google billionaires would like to get their hands on. We're expecting the next asteroid come in 2029 and then the next one in 2036. Do we have today the technology to do anything about it? We are sitting ducks in 2029 and 2036. If asteroid Apophis hits the Earth, it'll miss, but it's a thousand feet across. It is a nation buster. It'll take out England. It'll take wow. out Germany. That's how big it is. And we hope to land on it, perhaps, in 2029. That's on the table. Landing on asteroid Apophis in 2029, just to get a sense of what it's like to, to encounter an asteroid up close and dirty. So what's the Buck Rogers idea that you might do something about this? Well, once you have an asteroid up close, are you going to deflect it? Are you going to yeah. blow it up? If you blow it up, you have baby asteroids coming at you, right, causing more damage. The main idea right now is to deflect it when it's still in deep space. All sorts of schemes are being proposed, tractor beams, maybe even uh, painting it with silver paint so that light pressure will nudge it out of the way over several decades. So uh, everything's on the table right now. Science is endlessly fascinating. Yeah, and do you think that, that, that government, the government ends up taking action and funding this, or it's private capital? It could be a combination of both. Uh, private capitalists are saying, hey, if NASA is not going to fund this thing, why not private enterprise if they get a piece of the action? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be on the table also, whether or not entrepreneurs can see a gold rush in outer space. Do they have enough money to do it? Well, right now, no. I mean, everyone's passing the tin cup right now asking for funds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Professor Michio Kaku, good to see you. Thank you so much.